Hey, Paddy here, and if you're looking to create landing pages for free, then stick around and watch all of this video, because Canva makes this super easy to do. So, welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy, and over here, we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow, and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create landing pages for free using Canva. Now, also, there are timestamps down in the description to help you navigate throughout this video. Now, first of all, as this is a Canva video, I am going to plug Canva just here. If you want to check out a 30-day free trial, then check out the link down in the description below. Disclaimer, this is an affiliate link, so if you decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now, do you need Canva Pro to actually create these landing pages, these websites within Canva? No, you don't. Now, what I'm going to do is link this web page, this Canva web page, down in the description as well, so you can come through and read. But right here, it says all about Canva websites. Now, is this a free feature? Yes. Anyone can create and publish Canva websites. So that can be normal websites, that can be landing pages, or anything related to a website you can do for free, just using the free version. Now, on with the video because I have quite a bit I want to cover. Now first, what is actually a landing page? Well, a landing page is a standalone web page that a person lands on after clicking through an email, an ad, or any other digital location. Once they're on your landing page, this is this one just here, users are encouraged to take an action, such as joining a list, buying a product, or grabbing a freebie. Now, why would you want this? Why would you want a landing page? Well, a landing page is there to pre-sell your offer, your freebie, and is there to bridge between your traffic and your offer. It's always best to have a landing slash bridge page instead of having links go directly to your offers. So that's what this is. Now, right here, I've called it a landing page and a bridge page. I tend to call it a bridge page because you're bridging your traffic to your offer with this bridge page, or as most people call it, a landing page. Now, before we actually dive into the video and actually share how to create a landing page, there's actually four questions to ask before you start your landing page. First of all, you want to know, or the first question is, how are you going to drive visitors to the page? So you need to know how you're going to send traffic to your landing page slash bridge page. Who is going to visit the page? That's your second question. Your third question should be, what do you want your visitors to do? And then the fourth question, does this page deliver on its promise? But you need to be asking these questions so you have clarity on everything about your landing page. With this example, we're using a landing page to bridge the page between our low content books and our free offer or our author central. So for this example, the first question, how are you going to drive visitors to the page? This is going to come from the traffic that we get from selling our books, because we'd have a page in the book directing people to our bridge page. So that's the first one. The second one, who is going to visit the page? Well, it's going to be our customers. If this was for a coloring book, we'd know that the people visiting the page are interested in coloring. So it's going to be our customers from selling our coloring books. The third question, what do you want your visitors to do? All we want them to do is click the button, click through and go through to the offer. And does the page deliver on its promise? So with that out of the way, let's go ahead over to Canva and share with you how to create these landing pages. 
So here we are in Canva. Now Canva has a search bar as we can see up the top. And if we just type in website, you're going to get all of these different templates that you can use. I believe where well, it says it just there, there's actually 313 templates. You can click on any one of these, go through and completely customize them. Or you can just create your landing page slash bridge page completely from scratch. And that's what I went ahead and done. So I'm going to show you that in a second as well. But first of all, let's go through some of these. We can see some of them look pretty good. If we click on one, let's click on this one. This is what the website would look like. So let's just get rid of that. So right here, all of this is completely customizable. Again, because this is Canva and Canva is a design software. So all of this is customizable. We can take away the picture, we could delete that, we could change the colors on here to match the colors that we want, we could do yellow, we can just go through and completely customize everything. Then once you've got the website how you want, you can click preview and it's going to share and show you what that looks like on a desktop, on a tablet, and also on your mobile phone because all of these Canva websites, these landing pages, things like this, are all responsive. What does responsive mean? I mean, it responds to no matter what device you are using, as we can see just here. But obviously, you'd want to click this. Now, let's click off of this. That's a template. That's a template that we can use, or we could just completely get rid of all of this. We could get rid of that as well, and then just start from scratch. So if we get head over to the next tab that I have open, we can see that just here. Now, again, I've done this as an example for low content book publishing. If we go back over to here and then just, just go on here for a second, this is where you'd have your offer. So in this case, it's going to be about low content book publishing because that's what I do. So right here inside of your book, you'd have a page with your free offer or you could just have a link that goes to your bridge page and have your bridge page go to your author central. So right here, we can see your domain name. So this would be yours. Then we'd redirect that to the landing page. For this example, we're having it so people can just go through, click through to your author central. All of this is customizable as well. Now for this bridge page, which would just go over to author central, we'd go back to here and then right here it would say something like check out more books just here and then you could have your domain name so let's just sort that out a little bit let's get rid of that offer let's just make that a little bit smaller so you could have that like this check out more books just here and then your domain name would get redirected to the bridge page and this bridge page would say looking for more composition notebooks or any type of books depending on the books that you publish then check out our huge range of books over on Amazon then this would redirect to my author central over on Amazon and again all this is customizable now if you want this as a clickable link what you want to do is just click on here and then we want to go right there link so right here we can see I've already put in a link. So over on Amazon, you'd get your link to your book, your author central, and that's where you'd place it. And then you'd click done. Now right here, that means now anything here is clickable. So now if we go to preview like so, and then if we actually click on that, it's clickable and it takes us over to Amazon. Again, this would actually be an author central, not just one book. So that's how you can actually go ahead and create these bridge pages and make things clickable. And again, all of this is customizable. So that's just a blank bit. This is just an image. So if we unlock that, we can delete that, add a new image. I quite like that one, so I'm going to put it back. You can play around with the fonts and the colors. You can add your books. You can just start creating a little bridge page. Then at the bottom, I've got copyright 22. This is where your pen name would go just here, all rights reserved. Then we have a contact us, terms and conditions, and about us. Now with these just here, you can create other web pages here on Canva with your terms and conditions, with your about us, 
and contact us and have all that information on a website that you create and then link that web page just here like we did with this button super super easy now this is just one of the books that i created i think i created this book here in a youtube video so what i'll do is link that video right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch now with this i went to edit image then i added shadows and then i added the drop shadow just here i clicked apply i left that for a second and there we go that is done so again very very simple stuff but this is the first type of bridge page that i would create couldn't get my words out and this bridge page just goes to your author central so the next one that i would do as well or which i'm going to show you let's just go back where you'd have a free offer this free offer can be anything it could be free coloring pages it could be free printables it could be anything related to your book then with that free offer you want to do the same so i've got a different landing page just here which i created and this is where they can download 50 coloring pages for free now again this is just a bridge page so they won't be downloading anything here in canva this would just be a clickable link over to where you have your freebie and again canva just makes creating landing pages super super easy because if you can think it in your head you can create it here on canva just because look everything is customizable like so now let's just do that again let's go back to here now with this button this isn't even a button that's just a font on top of a square so if we go back to elements go under lines and shapes all it is is this i made it smaller made it look like a button change the color and then just put it there and then i just put the font on top of it and then again we make that clickable by going up here add in your link and then click done now let's get rid of that again ideally if i was going to use a landing page like this i would add a lot more coloring pages these coloring pages again i created here on youtube so what i'll do i'll link that video as well in the right hand corner then if we take one more look we can see this is customizable the background absolutely everything so that's what makes it super easy to create landing pages or bridge pages over here on canva now once you've got the page how you want you can check preview it's going to show you what it looks like again on a desktop tablet and also a phone as you can see looks pretty good now once you've done and you've created the bridge page how you want it you want to go ahead and actually publish that website so from here you want to go to publish as web page then you want to click free domain now we have a few different options here you can actually purchase a domain name and then link it through canva so that means you could have your domain like yourpennname.com or whatever it is and then we can set that all up here in canva so it's masked which is very very good then you can also use my existing domain for this example we're just going to head go ahead and use the free domain now once that's done you click continue and from here you want to choose a subdomain now as it says here your subdomain cannot be edited after you proceed to the next step so you want to be careful in choosing a subdomain this can be linked to your brand or any part of your business online now for this instance i don't actually know what to choose so i'm going to try and do marketing but without the vowels so m r k t n g let's see if we can do that let's click continue and yes we can i can actually use this one now from here you can do a couple of different things you can change the browser tab preview if we click on here it says the site title and favicon will show on google and browser tabs so right here it's website landing page number two we wouldn't want that so you'd want to change that in fact let's go click on here we just want maybe just landing page or bridge page so we're going to keep that website landing page let's get rid of that and then right here you can create the favicon now i don't actually have any favicons created but you can create that here in canva as well and then you can actually choose from your logos as you can see just here but i haven't one 
I haven't got one created, so we're not going to do that, but that's where you would change that. You can add a little description as well. And then right here, you'd enable password protection. We don't want that. And then right here, hide my site from search engines. So I'm going to click on that because I wouldn't want my website in a search engine because I'm just sending people from my books to my bridge page to my offers, whether that's freebie or just my author central. And I don't really want that in the search engine. Now from here, we just click publish. Now let's just give that a second to do its thing. And then we should have our URL, which we can actually use in our books so we're almost there so let's just give that 10 more seconds and there we go the website is now live we can get the link to the website just here and we can also view the website so now if we take a look we can see that it looks pretty good and again this is just completely for free using canva now let's go back over to here for a second in fact let's go to this one because this is something that i want to show with you because now that we've created one website if we go to free domain and then click continue on a different website we can see just here that your marketing.my.canva site is your subdomain so on the previous step when we created a website or came up with the url that cannot be changed so now the only thing that can be changed is the rest of it so now you're stuck with whatever you choose just here so be careful what you choose and make sure it aligns with your business or what you're trying to do because again that bit can't be changed but that's everything that i wanted to cover as you can see it's very very simple to create landing pages slash bridge pages with canva and as you can see they turn out pretty good now what you'd do from here you'd get your url which is just here and then if we go back to here that's what you'd have in your book now you wouldn't put this url just here you'd want to mask that so you'd have your domain name here let's just put com so this would be your domain name and then that would redirect to this page so if we go back to here again this would say your domain.com or your domain name.com whatever your domain is redirect it to this landing page and then from here they can go ahead click through and grab the offer so again very very simple stuff now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.